Now, moving on to things that may have sucked okay. uh, for others. So this is the final, uh, the, uh, the Lightning McQueen here, a uh, little Cars review. Uh, you go first, because uh, I'll probably take a while with this. So what did you think about it? What do you... Okay, this is what I thought. Coming away from my whole history <clears throat> okay. of Cars. This, this is what I thought, uh, this is my true thing, and I, th I think it's already been done before. The whole story, it's, Pixar's giving me another thing. It's, it's basically... You've seen Toy Story, you've seen A Bug's Life, you've seen Monsters, Inc. <laughs> it's basically that, okay. but with cars, you know? You know, big, he's like the, the head guy, he has a big head, you know what I mean? He's a big but head. Head, you know, like, you know, like, ego, ego, big ego. Then he... Dark uses, Hollywood, basically. Basically. Then he needs a, a small town. Yeah. Then he needs a small town, and they, they need each other. Basically, you know, Buzz and, and Woody, they need each other to, you know, co, you know to be friends or whatever so it's just really you just give me the same shit you know and it wasn't Pixar strongest I'll say that everyone has said that I wanna, I wanna, and, everybody has said that like, and this is the weakest Pixar and film. are they losing their minds my, in my opinion and somebody said that uh, a critic said uh, are, is Pixar losing their mind and I think they, they are I mean you read the uh, you had that article that was taught in that about circle seven yep and all that, that stuff mm -hmm. um, so are we ready for my well, review. you can go on. My, right. my, my review is this. It's Pixar. It's sweet. Uh, you can watch it if you want. I wouldn't. It's, it's no monster zoom to me. It's, uh, okay. Uh, I've spent a year with this movie. I sent a report to them saying the film will be bad. Um, ultimately, if you're in my review, don't, yeah, go to bed. That's, <laughs> it's, it's pretty good. I won't take too much time. Um, this movie is really, if it would have came out in 2002, you remember... After Monsters Inc., yeah. they didn't make a movie they in 2002. Did, did, did Incredibles. This is the movie that should have come out in 2002. Because then, in 2003, we would have seen Finding Nemo. We would have fucking forgot about this and go, oh my god, they're great. Then we would have seen The Incredibles, and then we would have evolved. The Incredibles yeah. is an amazing... Oh, let me tell you something. Great stuff. I did not want to go see The Incredibles. I was like, ah, oh, I don't want to go to the movies. I had to go alone. I remember when I went there and I saw it with the audience, and I was just feeling like, ah. Oh. And I remember when I saw the movie, I was just so blown away with, like, how much of an adult movie it was. Yeah. Like, the, they talk about sex, like, that she's cheating with Mirage, yeah. teen isolation, affairs. Yeah. These are topics that are really big. Like, you know what I'm saying? I think yeah. that's the great thing about, like, you know how some movies you go back, like, cartoons, and you realize, like, oh, my God, kids could really read into this? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Wow, this. how did they get away with this? You know what I'm saying? And I like that about companies and kids movies yeah. is that they can sort of skate over those issues like sex and things yeah. and not show you like or, or, or go pornography yeah. so Incredibles I always say is a step forward for Pixar Cars is a screeching halt this movie there's nothing about this like the characters in did, the world did, by the way, did you rehearse that the whole no 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 it's it is hall? it is a screeching did, halt did, did, I, I did, shut did, up did it was in my review that? Did you it was in my that? review I'm trying to paraphrase <laughs> yeah. um what do I? What did I think? I think that like there's a scene in the film where remember um, there's two minivans that come into the town, and she's like, oh blah 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 blah, welcome to Radiator Springs. Blah, yeah, blah. yeah. And then they're like, yeah, we just we just want to find the interstate. Yeah, and we just keep, want to get out of here. It's and they just that. keep annoying them yeah. with like, I can fix your cars, I can do this, I can do that, and you're kind of like, imagine if that was you going to Disney World, and you're like, oh Magic Kingdom, and oh over this. And you walk in the Radiator Springs section, and all these cars come up to you, and you're like, you know what? I'd rather go play with Woody, and Buzz Lightyear, and Dash, and all the other cool characters, instead of sit here with you pathetic cars who don't have any life. It's like none of them, they, like I always said, like the toys win you over by who they are. The cars are trying to win you over by nobody likes us. Oh, we've forgotten. Blah, 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 blah. I can paint. I can do this shit. And you're like, there's only one that... Everybody likes oh, Mater. No, I don't like Mater. I didn't like him, but like he did get most of the laughs. I would say. Yeah. He's he's. This uh, my favorite character would be that little the little blue thing. The yeah, little Guido. Blue, the little Guido. Guido. The Guido. Yeah. yeah. Okay, so there's that. Guido. He yeah. had a good moment. There's a moment. Remember when um, you open up on the town, and then the little sign is flowing, and then the the sign is being hit by the wind, and it knocks the tires, and he puts the tires up. Yeah. And then the wind again hits it, and he puts it up. And that was just such a small character moment, like in yeah. Finding Nemo. The bubbles, the bubbles, the bubbles, the stupid stuff like that. Oh, yeah. It's a cool character. There's a character in here named Flo, and she's that girl. She's like the black, you know, hey, yeah. honey, come get gas. There's a Flo in yeah. Finding Nemo. And 
she was hilarious with the freaking, oh, this is my sister Flo in the mirror looking at her reflection. So yeah. it's like, these characters don't live up to any previous Pixar characters. Lightning McQueen, they, there's only one thing the char- they're, they're really trying to get you to win over with Lightning McQueen, and that's a catchphrase. Kapow, kachow, kachow that yeah. shit. They keep pushing that shit on you, like, dude. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't, I, I never felt I was interested in the world of racing. Well, well, in that like, point, in, po- in, in, in that point, uh, no, 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 Toy I'm, Story, Toy Story had had a had a catchphrase. I'm Buzz Lightyear to Dark, infinity to and beyond, beyond you know? and that worked. Yeah. Or, and because it, uh, it wasn't these roundup, you know that was. Or exactly there's what? a snake in my, my boots. boots. Yeah, like, those characters work because it's like you see, like you just get along with Woody, and you realize like he's not like a Buzz Lightyear toy, but he's still. Cool I to still, play I with. still think that, that you hold the resentment because like, even taking you to the movies. Remember when we went? You had that kind of. Oh, no, I said that I didn't want to be here. You didn't want to watch. You just were like. Oh, God. Like I said, if this would have came out in two thousand two, I wouldn't care. See, yeah. there's a history behind this movie that this could have been the last Pixar film ever. Because remember that they were Disney and Pixar were divorcing. Yeah. So this was going to be the last Pixar movie, and they might have somebody might have bought them. They might have went independent, but we never knew what was going to happen to Pixar. So if this would have been their last movie, don't you think you want to end on a movie that says "fuck you" to Disney and says, yeah. "Look at what you missed out on. Look at how great this film was. You're never going to get anything like this at any other company." And with Cars, you're kind of like, "Well, the visuals are beautiful." You could see all this car world, but I don't care about it. Look at pod racing. Nobody yeah. knew anything about pod racing, and you cared about the story of it, yeah. and you learned about the characters, and it was really like you were into the race in pod racing. In Star Wars. In Star Wars, and that was a pretty bad movie, but that scene got you the 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 drama of it. In the beginning of this movie, it renders, and we see all these scenes that are like, ooh, there's cars, and there's this, and you're kind of wondering, like, how did the cars get up there? How did they do this? And they don't stop and show you anything. Like, there's only one thing I picked up on, and that's the brake pedals. That they would hit a brake pedal and something would turn on. And then, like, in this movie, they were like, well, we want to, we don't want to show cars and humans, like, the secret life of cars, yeah. like Toy Story, because we want to show you what would a car world be like? What would a restaurant be like? Like, that's all I read for a year. And in the movie, they didn't really show you anything. You're just supposed to assume that they know how to print uh, banners and make bobbleheads yeah. and cut... Designs and you're like, how do they do that? Oh, robotic arms, I guess. That's basically and like, and, and they're and not. And there was a helicopter. Does that yeah, there's, the car? there's helicopters. Does that there's, kind of the car? Yeah, there's helicopters. There's boats. There's blimps. And then you're wondering like, why do cars have doors? Yeah. There are no humans. Also, it's like there's so many unanswered questions that you don't get. But I just want to say like, I said in my review that like I said that this wouldn't work, but there's I can say that like, Doc Hudson's character, I really felt like Paul Newman. If they would have followed his character, I might have been more interested. I said in my review that, like, Million Dollar Baby, if you would have taken Clint Eastwood's role in Million Dollar Baby, and you would have done that with Doc Hudson, and you would have made Sally or Lightning the Hillary Swank part, and done what that movie did, and animated it as cars, it would have been much more interesting, right? Showing a racer, showing the, you know, her, I'm a car, blah, 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 I'm poor. All I think... You see what I'm saying? Like... So, so I'm basically what I'm just trying to say is that, like, do I think the film sucked? I think the film was mediocre. And I think that Incredibles, I say, people keep finding new ways to celebrate mediocrity. So yeah. if this is mediocrity, celebrate it. You know, it's a shitty movie that if it would have come out in 2002, I wouldn't give a fuck about it. Like, the same way I don't give a fuck about A Bug's Life. And it's like, both of those movies are retellings of other movies. Bug's Life was about Three Amigos, Seven Samurai, which we were talking about, and... Magnificent Seven, about the farmers and the guys come and then they gotta yeah. hire warriors. Whereas in this case, it's the Three Amigos where the warriors don't know they're being hired to kill. In this one, it's Doc Hollywood. You go to a town, oh, uh, you know, I'm an ego, I really don't want to be here, I want to get out of here, but I'm stuck here. And then at the end of the movie, you know what? I want to go back there. I learned, uh, I- I'm in love with this place. I learned like the majestic. Both. Yeah, it's like that. And then you know it, everything resolves itself. At the end, yeah. Radiator Springs is back on the map. They're making money. All that stuff's good, and it's kind of like, that's like saying that you're going to do that with, you know, black and white movies. You see what I'm saying? Like yeah. saying, oh, nobody watches black and white movies, or nobody watches uh, Charlie Chaplin type movies, and then one day, boom, now Charlie Chaplin movies are bigger than, you know, blockbusters. Like, it's not gonna, yeah, it's not going to happen, because it's just like, there's a reason people don't go to small towns. Yeah, and we can get things at a bigger town. And, uh, and it's just like, I'm just trying to say, at the end of it, like, you know, 
read my review. It covers a lot of the points. I think, like I said, it's it's not. It wasn't anything. It was just mediocre. We won't think about it in twenty years. We'll just be like, oh yeah, cars. Yeah, I don't care. Whatever. Exactly. And moving on.